Hi everyone, this is a December 18th messages of the day reading featuring my advent calendar which is a tarot advent calendar that I did make um, and this is a charm and oracle card reading so the oracle cards I'm going to use for this reading I will put in the description box below so that you can you know find them and all that jazz so we are at 18 so I am going to have to count because I have lost count a little bit so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Here we are. So we have <laughs> we have one pentacle attached here. We also have this symbol from the Empress card. We also have some of the Wheel of Fortune and we do have some of the Angel, which is actually present, I believe, on the Two of Cups card. So I have collaged quite a lot of elements on here, but I have also hand-painted quite a few different bits which is why it's um, <laughs> got you know some things sticking out as well so if you would like to purchase this particular advent calendar it will be on my Etsy if you are interested it won't come with all of the charms but it will come with my intention bracelets so you know it will come with something it will also come with the lights and the tinsel and the you know how it looks right now so uh, yeah if you want <laughs> information will be in the description box below to my Etsy shop so we have the charms in here I am going to actually start with the charms um, in some of the other readings I've actually started first with the cards but I really am very very drawn to these charms I'm just gonna put the drawer actually back in here all right so charm wise we have here a cactus how beautiful right how beautiful they're so cute and so so little we also have some little plants right here I think they're you know like from the same family and we also have another one right here so December 18th to me looks like a time of growth it is a time of strength growth and also just blooming right blooming absolutely blooming blooming it's blooming great <laughs> so we have this bracelet in there as well which is the bloom and growth bracelet so these are intention tie bracelets and so this one is really there to help with growth and to really allow things to grow and get much better so um, they are meditated with, they're sage, they start from just three pounds for international shipping, all of my bracelets. So if you are interested, link will be down below. But what I'm seeing specifically with this reading is that it's all about your personal growth. December 18th is going to make you reflect on, you know, how you would like things to progress. And it's a really uplifting energy because it's contributing to your growth. It's contributing to things getting stronger for you, feeling much more uplifted, feeling stronger within yourself and your energy, which I think is great. It's a bit like a flower, a bit like a caterpillar. There's growth and there's a lot of, you know, beauty involved in that as well. So we have this affirmation right here and it says here, I will hold myself to a standard of grace, not perfection. You know how sometimes we always want things to be perfect? Not all the time. I did, I did mention, you know, sometimes we want things to be perfect. It's about, you know, holding ourselves to grace, not always per perfection, you know, and that's very, very similar to a cactus. When you look at a cactus from far, you'd be like, wow, that's incredible. You get close, you try and touch it, not a good idea, right? And in many ways, you may think it's not perfect, but for sure, it has its own grace and it is perfect in its own way. And that is really what I am trying to explain is that it's about the way that you see yourself. It's about the way that you see, you know, see other things. It's about really holding our, our standard to you know, looking at a different perspective, shifting that perspective can also be a really good thing. So we have here this dragon, okay, and it says here, I am committed to my goals, I work towards them every single day, so every day. So this is really, really great, because what I am seeing is that that passion that you have towards yourself, you know, whether it's to grow within yourself and to bloom within yourself or within your career or in regards to love or certain goals or hobbies that you have, I really do see that your commitment is really what's going to take you very, very far. Not only just that, but consistency. So keep working towards your goals. 
stay committed and also I am seeing as well that it's really really good for you to be very very consistent with it as well because that consistency will bring the results of things growing and blooming even more. Okay so now we have another message so it is this one right here and it says may you continue to grow in in age and wisdom like the oldest oak tree. Okay so this is also remember oak trees they are still very strong even when they are pretty old, right? And it's it's really just showing that may you just gain more wisdom, more experience the older you get, you know, and, and to live a very healthy, strong life. So we got this beautiful, beautiful card that really is showcasing that, you know, similar to plants as well. Just a lot of growth and a lot of beauty, a lot of consistency as well. We have this card here as well, you know, make sure you take care of yourself, make sure you water yourself as well, just like you would want to water um, a plant. Make sure you drink enough water, make sure you get enough rest, enough sleep and enough good nutrition, very, very important. Go out in the sun, make sure you do get a little bit of sun, um, because you know, vitamin D is very very um, important. I was going to say it's very, um, I don't know what I was going to say, but yeah, it's very, very important. So make sure you nourish yourself, that's very, very important. We have this card which says, you are not here to make others understand you, you are here to understand yourself, which is very, very true. Make sure that inner nourishment really comes from yourself. If there are other people that are trying to control your life or the way you live your life, you know, I do feel to a certain extent, you know, maybe they're looking out for you, but also make sure you're looking out for yourself. That's very, very important. We have here this card which says far, far away and it says here creative daydreaming. So again, you know, your your goals, your dreams, your hobbies, yourself. This is such a great time for bloom and growth and for things to get so much stronger. And I'm feeling it's just a, such a great energy. So it's also great for you to become quite creative, to try new interests and new ideas. Really, really wonderful. So I hope you can take away some form of a message from this reading. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about the reading. And also, um, yeah, let me know. Also, the bracelets will be on Etsy. Link will be in the description box below. The tarot advent calendar will also be in the description box below. Well, the link to my Etsy shop where it is will be in the description box below. And also... The oracle cards I used will be down there as well and if you would like to purchase a private paid reading or you would like to enter for a free reading with me, information will also be in the description box below. And yeah, um, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, I hope you have an absolutely lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, you almost got a glimpse of me, hey! <laughs> um, yeah, and I will see you very, very soon, bye!